eating insects in Africa is something special. Here they eat a lot of caterpillars of mosses, like the kaba, the famous kaba caterpillar that you see here, a big green caterpillar of a moss. It's not the name of a species, it's probably the name of a group of species that have this green colored big caterpillars, mostly with stripes, silvery or or mother of pearl, and the adults you see only at the light trap in the night, like here in this cage, is mostly with big eyes on the hind wings. Different species in this group, Lobo Puneo, Fedusa, or we think that this is the Cobo adult, but we found that there are a lot of other green, big caterpillars that are called copper also. We try to breed and rear them in the laboratory in Kiloeka to find out whether we can domesticate them and make an agricultural product uh, with it. But today we ask Jolie, our uh, cook, to prepare the copper in the traditional style. That's also something special for Jolie. Uh, then normally you don't find copper caterpillars in this big numbers like in our a laboratory like here in this aerarium cage we have around 30 of these at a big last stage caterpillars of the cobble. So we give 10 to Sholly to prepare this uh, special uh, meal that is a uh, traditional meal people here eat caterpillars since times unknown. On the weight scale, they show more than 20 grams a piece. So that's for 10 of these caterpillars, we have around 200 uh, grams. So that is one of the biggest caterpillars in the world, the caterpillars of this Lobo Buneo, Fedusa and other species. On the markets, you don't find them because they are normally eaten fresh. If you find one or two and you never find them in big groups, then they are freshly uh, prepared in the villages where they are found. On the market you normally find the dried caterpillars, um, but not the fresh ones like copper. It's very rare, it's very sought after, and we want to know how Jolie prepares them in her little kitchen here, built open for the fires with uh, charcoal and she prepared it also with um, potato, that's not usual normally here with fufu from manioc is a classical uh, meal. Before the preparation, the caterpillars are opened to remove the gut content. And it's said also that they open all the fresh caterpillars so that while cooking, the spices and herbs can come in better contact with the meat. And um, yes, if we don't do that, the shell of the caterpillars is the skin made with chitin and that's um, a real barrier against uh, spices also so that's why they are uh, opened in this style seems very special for European cooks because that's not something we eat in our uh, world of cooking but here this is uh, very normal Caterpillars are an important source of protein in a lot of countries in Africa. They are lost in a lot of uh, countries in Africa because of overharvesting and habitat destruction. And, and the project in Kilueka tries to bring back these important sources of protein by building, rebuilding the habitats and by trying to domesticate them for agricultural processes. The first time um, uh, that humankind tries to do something like that, so that's a real pioneer work. After washing, there's added a little salt to the 
caterpillars, then a little water, and uh, the herb that is most common here, and you find it in every dish in the Democratic Republic of Congo, Earth, continent Africa, is the piri piri, is the chili. And then it, the caterpillars come to the fire. Compared to Asia, they are n practically n never prepared with oil, with fry, fry style. All the caterpillars here are mostly prepared in water, like a soup. And uh, yes, oil is only added, um, as you have seen here, into the uh, water. And that's the meal with beans, some meat, with sofu and with potato, the freshly prepared cobble. Tastes very good, a little bit like seafood. <laughs>